Hello, welcome to Lesson from Barbecue. Today we're gonna make um, croquette chicken stew. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, whole chicken, some potatoes, some tomatoes, um, and a spice mix uh, consisting of orange juice, honey, uh, garlic, basil, and onion powder, and some chipotle pepper. Uh, I'm gonna let it cook for eight hours because we've got stuff to do today. So let me bring in and I'll show you what we've got to work with. Okay, so we have the chicken, uh, we have some potatoes, some tomatoes, the spices. We're gonna start out by making the sauce uh, and I'm gonna be using uh, this Rioja marinade that I bought this summer and I haven't used. So we'll start working with that, with everything. It's like a thick or thin, I'd <laughs> rather thin barbecue sauce, I would say. And that's about, I would say, half a cup. So, one cup of orange juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, the salty kind, three tablespoons of honey, which would have been easier just to put in here immediately. I've got a spice blend of uh, herbs and garlic. It's called, um, it's uh, more or less garlic powder, onion powder, and basil and oregano. Um, I put it on the in the description. One teaspoon of chipotle powder. Anyway, there we go. Give that a stir and put it to the side. So this is gonna go in after we put the chicken in the crock pot. I'm going to use one of those cutting trays for chicken. I prefer doing that actually. And there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this apart and remove excess skin. So I always remove the po post nose. And then we're going to see what we've got here. If you break the joint, it's going to be just like there. Then cut this up. It will break it just in the joint, just like so. And then you could just cut it through the bone. There we go. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'll meet you back in a bit. So it's uh, cut apart and now we just need to uh, dip this in uh, some cornstarch and put it in the pot. The cornstarch doesn't really need to go everywhere. It's just going to be there to thicken up the, the cook. I'm using all the pieces from the chicken. I think it's going to give a nice flavor to it all. Okay, so time to cut up the last pieces of this and put it in there. It's really easy to prepare when you're cooking in the crock pot, I think. Okay, new knife, new board, new gloves. Of course they go in there, so these I only washed off and I'm gonna quarter them I think that's going to be good enough. And the tomatoes, I'm going to have them just like so. And then we just need to add the sauce. So, like it says in the recipe, you can cook this at either low temperature or low setting for seven to eight hours or high setting for four hours. But we've got some stuff to do, like I said, so we're actually gonna put this, uh, mm, smells lovely from that wine and that sauce. It's, uh, I didn't show you that. It says Rioja marinade. Um, I'm gonna cook it for eight hours. Um, if I'm around, I'm gonna stir it once or twice and then 
I'll just leave it to its own devices. So I'll see you back in eight hours. Bye. Okay, there we go. Uh, so this has been cooking for just about eight hours at low setting. It smells really good in here actually. Um, so I'm thinking I should get some of that on my plate here and have a taste test. Should be some potato in there. It's almost like a chicken soup. Okay. So, um, first time crock pot chicken and um, let's see. Oh, looks done. And then we'll have a taste. Hot, hot. Hmm. It's got a lot of flavor. Um, I really like that. You should try it. Um, just follow the recipe down below and um, Enjoy your crock pot meal. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.